all right guys what is up it's mark ak brown mark welcome back i know you guys see 1200 coins let's get into these box openings now i know i'm not getting no new characters so let's just try see how much elixir we could get to raise up this pam because if you guys looked at the, the description you already know what the video is about it's a pam video yeah yeah another pam video uh, do i think she's bad honestly uh, well, let's just see what we get out these boxes first. Then I'll talk about it. Uh, I'm getting quite a bit of elixir here. But uh, that is over a thousand gems. So it is a lot of boxes being opened. And it is a waste to waste this all on Pam. Because I've been using Colton um, and Jesse so much lately. I feel like it would be so much better used than one of those guys. But for the sake of YouTube and for the sake of seeing how much I could use and like this character um, they're just gonna use it all on her I guess getting a lot of tokens probably might buy that bow but uh let's just raise up everything I guess you know we did this a little bit before when we first got her and uh used her in one match uh, I've used her quite a bit since then um but honestly uh let's just get straight into the game a little smash and grab and right here you can just see him getting wrecked like right off the bat uh what do i think of pam to be honest um the reason why i like colt so much colt is kind of a prediction character i feel like ricochet kind of falls in that category too where it's kind of like a if you could guess where people are gonna walk you could do so much damage to them and um with pam it's kind of that way but it's to a greater extent because her shot goes on for so much longer and in a way you have to also continuously move with them after you've taken the shot in a direction so it's kind of really weird if that makes sense um it is a little op when you get her alt behind a wall if your team could defend it well enough because you could sit behind it and heal and do like a heavy amount of damage but like against characters like barley as you can see right here he could just splash damage it everyone's taking damage while he's taking it out slowly um other characters it would be a little bit of a waste of an alt to try to get rid of it even though it is doing so much for you guys we pick up the loss right here and uh, congratulations pam very why does spike look so happy to win this to lose this game is it just me or whatever that's a few trophies lost two trophies is whatever especially with characters i don't really care about using um what now let's get back into this one one more time see how this smash and grab goes um for pam is she good i feel like to be honest she's the most unique character that's been made so far her alt is arguably not that great to be honest in a way, I feel like I couldn't even think of a way that this character could be buffed in a way where it's like, wow, this helped her out, if that makes sense. Like most people, you'll just see like, oh, uh, I want my Nita to attack faster. Or, oh, Poco, he needs more range or something like that. But who knows what would make Pam better? I, I don't even know. She's she's a little odd. Um, I don't know if more health would help. I, I, I'm not even sure, to be honest. It's just like with every character, even if you don't like them, like I don't like Brock, I don't like Ricochet, but I could see why they're good, even though I don't use them. With Pam, I feel like I just don't see it. And I feel like a lot of people are like that too, and they'll just like say, oh, Pam's garbage. I feel Pam is just too versatile for her own good, if that makes sense. But it's weird because in other games when a character is so unique, they'll be like so strong if someone knows how to use them and i feel like pam doesn't fall into that category like even if you're really good with her she'll just probably be more annoying than good and uh drop the heel circle right there let's see this el primo Ooh. and uh yeah it looks like we might win this one i'm doing a great job holding on to these gems and i don't know if it's because we have this Colt here doing all this damage and then I'm just poking from a distance but 
our team is doing really good right now. Ooh, look at El Primo just drop on them. And Supercell, you guys want to nerf Nita, but you guys got to nerf this El Primo dab. He just lost the game, but I feel like I lost when he's dabbing on me like that. Nerf the El Primo dab. That's what needs to be nerfed. And uh, we pick up a win right there. Oh, let's get into one more. This one's going to be a game of bounty. And uh, I don't know. That's how I feel about Pam. She's just really unique. I don't think she's bad. But she's so unique that you'd actually have to practice so much to use her well. She's really good at baiting characters out. Like seeing this bounty game, I, I could guess where characters are just because I shoot so random. And it's like really hard to avoid. Um, I know like people are saying, like even in the interview, he's like, oh, she'll be really good against like Morris because you can't really dodge her attacks. Well, it's like, it doesn't matter kind of. It's like, it's like Crow. Like sometimes you'll be using a character, like if you're like El Primo or something, you're not going to feel the need to run away from a crow. Like, a crow will throw his daggers at you and you'll just walk up to him and, like, punch him in his face twice and kill him. And it's like, that's kind of how Pam feels. Because her shots are just moving in one straight line for so long, it's like you could just guess where they're going, move out of the way, like, to the right if you get close enough or something, and then just, like, punish her so bad. And that's, that's another thing about her character. It's like you either do really good or you do really, really bad. It's like she's very punishable. Like if you if you don't use her properly, you could get wrecked so hard. And I guess that's really difficult when it comes to this game, especially because with like every character, you're usually just trophy pushing. Nobody really chooses a character just for choosing them's sake. So in a game where trophies matter, getting punished for just having a bad game is really rough and then imagine going into public matches and counting all those things you get like a not so good team that could really defend you very well or some a team that doesn't really make use of your heel circle too much and then it's just like it's it's so easy to punish her and i feel like that's a huge problem Ooh, uh, this poco's doing a good job and uh, they're winning a little bit, but we could come back. Ooh, what are you doing, Bo? Oh, let's go after this bowl. And you see, like, the damage is just so, like, so much poke damage. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter that I'm even hitting him. It's like he didn't even care. He was just like walking back a little bit and moving forward again. He, he's just like, ah, Pam's poking me. Who cares? I'm going for kills. But uh, we pick up this one right here. No, oh, that bolt can't do much. It looks like that's game over. And uh, if I got a star player, I'd be shocked. Oh, I did. That's really shocking. But uh, I don't know. I feel like there's a few things with this character that need to be tweaked. And I'm not really sure what they are. Tell me what you guys think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.